I love Quantrix and I want to make you a Quantrix master. Go to QuantrixAuthority.com to learn more. Hey, welcome back to another netcast. I'm Rich Lopez, Quantrix Authority. I sincerely appreciate you joining me today for episode number 251, Is Empty List Function. I showed this to you a little bit in episode 250, but I really wanted to take some time and uh, demonstrate this function again, just because I think this function is actually really fantastic. And if my memory serves me correctly, which it may or may not, I may be, have been the one that requested this function that uh, Quantrix come up with it anyway, but maybe not. But hey, it's a good idea. Maybe I'll take credit for it. But nonetheless, the developers at Quantrix, they, uh, they put it in here and I think it's a great function. So let's pretend that I have a list of products here and I wanna know whether or not they list this, this product group rather exists in this list of product groups over here. Now, I realize that I could write a simple match statement, right? And I could do something like this and say equals match. What do I want to match? I want to match this value in this list over here and have it be zero for exact match. But if I do that, then I get some ugly, you know, errors. Also, I get uh, maybe <clears throat> uh, some numerals in there. I could, of course, also write this as is error. And what happens is <clears throat> where it aired out, where it doesn't exist, uh, is actually, it means that it doesn't exist in this list. So that would be a one or a zero would be, it does exist in the list. And of course, I could throw a not in front of that. And then I could find out whether or not this exists over in the list if I throw the not in front of it and I wait for it to compute here <clears throat> and I can see that some of these uh, these guys exist in the list over here but there are some others that of course do not and then I get ones and zeros and you know I can format that so it gives me ones and zeros where that is true or it is not fault or where it is false now I can do that again that was with the match function but this isn't about the match is there uh, not function it's about is empty list and whether or not uh, it exists out here so what I would do here is I would say exist with is empty and let me respell list right there and what I'm going to say here is I'm going to say select what do I want to select I want to select this value list where my key list, which is this, is equal to a lookup value of this. And you can see that it brings back uh, the, the list name, but I want to know if it doesn't exist in there. So I'm simply going to say is empty list. And when I do an is empty list, <clears throat> And I open up the dependency inspector here. Uh, this is how it evaluates. If I go ahead and I select this, you can see that this value actually brings back something, this RPP, because it exists. So is empty list is false. But if I go up here to one that doesn't exist over there, you would see that the select indeed uh, brings back an empty list. And therefore it comes back and says that true in fact, this does not exist. So if if this truly was exists with is empty list, I would simply say not here as well. And then I would get my Boolean logic of trues and falses correct. But again, what I want to demonstrate here is simply a select statement. It returns a list of values, right? That is the first argument. It is the value list that you want to return with a select statement. Well, this is empty list goes out and evaluates whether or not your select statement brings back anything and provides you Boolean logic of true and false with that. So I think that's a really neat function to have in the back of your mind uh, when you really get into some complex uh, uh, logic within Quantrix. And again, that was demonstrated in episode 250 where I showed you how you could use this empty list uh, to, to do some pretty complex things. 
I hope you find that useful. If you have any questions about is empty list, is empty, anything in regards to Quantrix, I do hope that you'll reach out to me at QuantrixAuthority at gmail.com. I absolutely love Quantrix. I want to make you a Quantrix master. So please join me again for another episode of Quantrix Authority with Rich Lopez. Today's podcast is brought to you by QuantrixAuthority.com. I love Quantrix and I want to make you a Quantrix master.